Hi, I'm Robin Goodman, the executive producer of the Bucks County Playhouse. And I'm Alex Fraser, producing director. We're delighted to welcome you today to a behind the scenes look at our first production of the summer season, Neil Simon's play, Chapter Two, directed by Marsha Mason. You know, I treated it like I would treat any project, and I seem to have that kind of ability to do that, even with my own work. I can be quite objective and non-emotional, but, um, and it'll happen right now, <laughs> opening night was when all of a sudden I was sitting in the back, I was going to take notes, nah, and I just enjoyed it and, you know, looked back over my life and a relationship and wished that Neil could see it. Um, this play is very special. I think it's one of his best because of the way he marries something he wants to say about his life and the, uh, what he went through and his wicked sense of humor. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're directing that, how do you get the actors to be as funny as they are in the play and as moving as they are in the play? Because um, the best comedy comes out of truth, a deep sense of truth. And the more truthful you are, uh, the funnier it will be if the writing is good. Um, and comedy has to be played dead seriously, as they say. So those uh, paradoxes are very, very true. Not all comedy, because there's different kinds. You can have burlesque comedy, you can have ironic comedy, you can have bitter comedy. But yeah, I think with Neil, if you play the situation and the characters, the more serious you are about it, but you're right, I feel this too about his, this play in particular, that he deepened and was willing to reveal more of his own personal human um, foibles, yeah, foibles uh, and fragility um, in this play. And then consequently, I think that's why Brighton Beach, Broadway Bound, and the plays that followed and that he wrote basically, even the Goodbye Girl, when we were working together, only when I laughed, the same thing, a rather serious uh, you know, subject. He took the gingerbread lady, but he deepened it for the film, I think. Um, mm. So I think that's some of his best work. Yes, I agree with you. Um, changing hats and becoming a director, mm -hmm. uh, what is it what is it that you enjoy the most about that? Because you've done a beautiful job, you're, you've worked with your designers beautifully, you've staged it beautifully, the actors adore you. Um, what is, what's in it for you? Um, dictatorship? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think, I don't know, um, I like a collaborative effort. I had the best time. Sometimes acting can be like on your own. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, you're sort of working in a bubble. And what I really loved was working, obviously, with talented people. I mean, it doesn't work if they're not talented. But with the designers, there was this real, I, I was totally open because I don't know what they do best. And I think maybe, I've often said this now, because of having directed and acted and actually written a book, I think that you have to do every discipline at least once. You don't have to be successful at it. But if you do it once, then you have a level of respect for the other discipline. So I really encourage all actors to attempt to direct once, all directors to act once. And everybody should try to write their story once. Nobody, you don't have to print it, nobody has to see it. But something happens when you reveal yourself to yourself in these different ways. I feel like I have an inherent sense of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've always had that and that's helpful. So that's something that I, I can trust is, is there and what's, and, and being, and not, no, you know, not saying something because it's gonna get a, a laugh, but trying to play the truth of it, and hopefully the truth of it is funny, and because Neil Simon is such an amazing writer, and this is such a wonderful play, that it's very easy to trust the words. And when you trust the words, okay. the words carry you. You know, I, I, I've made most of my career doing drama rather than comedy, that's not to say that I'm not funny, but um, 
but I, I think I have a tendency to just go to truth and and sometimes that lands as funny and sometimes it doesn't. Pretty bad, I know. I make sure to eat horrible. I, I eat like garlic Stop and with the stuff garlic. like right before. Stop with the onions. Yeah, I, I see know. he was a little like kissing his sister, but not, it's not quite as, you know. <laughs> because I, you know, it's like Don't what Leah said. Don't tell them that, that I mean, like, oh, No, yeah. but I mean, because I like, you know, like Leo says, I like you too much, you know, making love to people like is very dangerous. Right, right, it's kind of right. how I feel about Nadia. It's like, I like her very much. She's a nice person. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> well, we couldn't kiss for a while because he was sick. I was we, sick, too. Like, I was sick, too. Uh, not that you're <laughs> not delicious and beautiful, and I love you. I'm very happy to kiss you. It's not about that. But, um, no, it's cool. I think we have, I think we had a, a very easy, like, time finding our chemistry and mm -hmm. finding our sea legs together. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been great. And it's a, that scene especially is just We like love a it. Gift. Every night we come to... over to each other. I saunter up to her backstage, and she's in her sheet, and we just kind of go like this, and we kind of canoodle. <laughs> Yeah. Marsha Mason will also be acting in our next production, Death Trap by Ira Levin. Don't miss it.